Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my kitchen. As you guys can see, we are not in my studio today because uh, I'm getting lazy, okay? So I wanna kill two birds and one stone. I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna answer your guys' question. I'm sorry if the audio is kinda iffy. You know, there's no soundproofing in here. It's just, you know, where I cook. I asked you guys on Instagram to submit a question. Thank you guys for submitting your questions. Thank you guys for following me and getting me to 50K. And if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai in case I ever do this again. You can answer your question, okay? I'm gonna try and answer as many questions as I can. Also, welcome to Cooking with Johnny, but this is not that type of show. Maybe another channel, who knows? Quick question as well. Would you guys like to see a, you know, a second channel, a vlog channel? I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, I do have an old channel. My OG, OG viewers. There's only about 500 of them. I'll link it down below if you guys want to subscribe. I will be posting on that channel sometime soon. So I just want to know what you guys want to see. It's not going to be fashion related at all. It's going to be a totally separate channel. So let me know what you guys want to see. But let's get into these questions. As you guys can see, I have a ton of freaking questions to answer. There's a lot of overlap, but we will try and tackle as many of those as we can, okay? Thank you, Koi, for answering the question. What have you been doing during quarantine? So surprisingly, and I'm very fortunate to have this type of lifestyle, my life hasn't really changed all that much other than not being able to go to the gym. Even then, I've always worked out at home. I used to work out at home for like two years straight. My life hasn't really changed completely. I've just been making YouTube videos and helping my you know, my family out. I've been watching more movies. That's about it. Okay, next question. Top three dream sneakers to add to your collection. Definitely, of course, the Red Octobers. Honestly, probably the Akron and Prestos, the olive colorway, and one of the off-white ones as well. I don't know which one. Probably those three sneakers. That's just off the top of my head. I'm probably, I'd probably switch one of those out for something else that I can't think of right now. How much money do you make monthly and is YouTube your main job? So YouTube is my main job and I'll tell you guys right now, it's not that much. At my size, you know, 50K, it brings, you know, a little slightly more than minimum wage. If I got a college degree, I'd be making a lot more money than I am right now. But luckily I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico right now, my hometown, so it's a lot cheaper to live here. But yeah, it's just, you know, slightly above minimum wage, so. There you go. For all my Viet viewers out there, we're making BBH, not Big Booty H. It's Bung Ma Hue. I'm not Vietnamese, but my family is from Vietnam. They were born and raised there, but my bloodline is Chinese. Sharpen the knife while I answer a question. Best tip to save slash make money in high school. Okay, well to save money, maybe stop going out with your friends. I know like the thing is to be cool in like high school and all that, but don't spend your money on clothes. Like don't spend so much money on clothes like designer stuff or any of that stuff. Supreme, off-white. If you just learn the basics of like color blocking, proportions, sizing, all that good stuff, and you can just go to H&M, Goodwill, you know, Savers, all that good places, Buffalo Exchange, get some nice vintage clothing, or just cheap clothing from H&M in general, and learn how to style it. What kicks do you recommend for the summer? If I just keep it simple, white vans. Flynet racers or trainers. Yeah, honestly, just stick with white vans. Low top white vans, can't beat that. What are your thoughts on calisthenics? Okay, when I first started training, I did calisthenics initially. It's just basically body weight training, right? So I did push-ups, pull-ups, dips, and all that. I bought gymnastic rings, which I still have and I still use currently, and a pull-up bar, and there you go. You can do gymnastic ring dips, and a ton of people can't even do that, so that's already gonna push you. If you want more resistance, just grab a, a backpack with some books in it. You know, I'm using my college textbooks. They're finally getting used well, because at school, it was not very useful. <laughs> Spent $800 UNM one semester. Anyways, you can use your textbooks as resistance. Put it in your backpack, do weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, solid workout. But honestly, the swollest people, they go to the gym. Planet Fitness is only $10. You can ask your mama to pay for that. If you're old enough, why not? Otherwise, yeah, you could do it, bodyweight training, but you are limited to what you can do. Do you have toilet paper? Of course. Do you like hanging out with other Asian people? Asking as Asian guy, I personally don't prefer. For, for the most part, I do hang out with mostly Asian people, but that's because I grew up with them or, you know, it's like one of those things. I know my African-American friends, like one time I went to uh, eat hot pot with one of my African-American friends. He saw another fellow brother and they just nodded at each other. It's like one of those things, you know? But yeah, I have a lot of, uh, you know, non-Asian friends. So I still, and I still hang out with them too. So I'm not only gonna take the yellow M&Ms, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I like a variety. Favorite sneaker. I don't really have one. It's probably always gonna change, but currently in my sneaker collection, it's the Union ones. Cause there's a lot of history and story behind it. If you guys watch my sneaker collection video, 
check that out. Okay, so now we got the shallots that we're gonna dice as well. How to start a YouTube channel and make it grow. Okay, now is the time to do it. I know a lot of people, they've been saying, oh, I don't have time to do this, blah, 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 blah. Johnny, how do I find the time? You got the time now. 99% of us have the time now, except for healthcare workers, but even then, my girl, she's a nurse, she's studying Chinese now, she's studying how to draw. There's no excuses, guys, you got time. The only advice I have is to start making content. If you watch my original videos, horrible, horrible videos. These are not the V1s or V2s, but it's all good. You're gonna get better at just making content in general. Pick a genre, start making content about that genre, and just stick with it. And here's the thing that most people can't do or never think of. You gotta like accept that this is gonna take minimum three years to take off. So are you willing to wait three years? Are you willing to put in the work for three years? If not, probably shouldn't do YouTube. Most 20 year olds like, oh, I'm gonna be a millionaire by 22. It's gonna take two years. No, it's not. So yeah, just make content, that's all. Tapered cargos or the huge ass cargos at Old Navy? I would just pick uh, tapered cargos. Why are you called Fly With Johnny Ty when you don't make vacation videos? That's potentially the second channel, okay? Let's link in the description. It's called Fly With Johnny Ty because I'm trying to get y'all fly. Okay, the original channel name was Get Fly With Johnny Ty, but that was just too long. It's a play off my last name, uh, Ty, so. Fly, tie, they, you know, they rhyme. Maybe I'll change it to just Johnny Tie, I don't know. But it's it's more playful and fun for Fly with Johnny Tie. God, this shell is so annoying. I spent like three questions on this already. Now we got, what do you think about super skinny jeans for men? Nope, 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 nope. No, I'm not opposed to skinny jeans. I actually love them. I've been wearing skinny jeans since I was, since like 2006 when it was, you know, pretty popular in the skater community. They were never super like jegging type of skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, I'm fine. If they're black, you can go slightly tighter, but light, light denim, they should not be hugging your legs. Uh-uh, no, no go. That's a no go. How do you give yourself a haircut? That's an upcoming video. If you guys want to see it, so let me know. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm gods to bless the channel with love. What made you move back to Albuquerque? Well, I decided to go full time on YouTube and there was no way I was gonna do that in New York City. No freaking way. As, I, as you guys heard, I barely make minimum wage. So that was not gonna happen in New York City. No way. No way, Jose. And I wish I was able to stay in New York City. This is like my favorite city in the whole entire world. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for your career. And that's what I'm doing. It's like a little pit stop before we move back. And then also, um, just kick it with the family again. What's your reasons to work out? For fun, health, aesthetics, etc. Honestly, I hate working out. I really don't like working out. I just do it because it's more of like a habit now. I mean, there's more fun things to do than work out, so. But some people actually like it. There's no, no hate in that. I just personally would watch some Star Wars, eat some Ben & Jerry's, Cherry Garcia. But I like working out because yeah, you do get the benefits, you know. Somewhat nice arms, you know, for a skinny Asian dude. And it's like, it helps, it helped me build confidence. That's really it. Have you considered getting a buzz slash crew cut? It would be an easier haircut to do, but I have not thought about it. And I don't think I would do that. I say that just peel off that top layer with an extra layer underneath and just not deal with it. It's not worth the trouble if you guys ever cook. Next question. What are the best jeans for spring? Of course, light wash denim, distressed denim. What else is there? <laughs> and black denim, black denim all year round. I'm not gonna let the heat stop me. Would you make a series experimenting with different looks slash styles? Maybe eventually when more, more, more of that bread comes in, because right now I just buy what I like for the videos and that's really what you should do anyways. But I'd love to experiment. There are so many dudes out there on YouTube that dress way better than me. And I would love to, you know, try and learn from them, all that good stuff. Maybe pick some, some, some of their aesthetics up. What's the best basic cheap tees? Super, super cheap. Go to freaking H&M Forever 21. When and why did you start getting into fashion? So I've always kind of just like slight, slightly been into it when playing, you know, GTA, skate, one, two, and three. Make EA skate again. I never got like super into it until I moved to New York City, which is the fashion capital of the world. I got there, I, was, I looked at myself, it's like, I look whack. So I just went on a shopping spree. I've been watching Richie Lee since like the Fung Bros days, like his very first episode with the Fung Bros. And I've just been following him ever since. So him, I've watched Alpha M since like, 
high school. Yeah, and then I got into Jose's content as well. So yeah, just the, the, the combination of the three of them as well. And then moving to New York City was especially, that was like the, the tipping stone. What music do you listen to? I listen to rap and EDM, that's really it. And then, you know, lo-fi for whenever I'm working. How to keep yourself entertained during this time. Maybe learn something. Currently, me and my girl are learn, trying to pick up Mandarin Chinese again, pick up my Cantonese as well. Learn a new skill, draw, cook, like what I'm doing right now, compose some outfits, play some games, just do it in moderation. Like if it's fun, now if it's a skill or just like something that's actually gonna benefit your life, then put some more time in that. You know, start your YouTube channel, start on that project you've been wanting to start on, change the oil of your car, that's what I did recently. Just things you've been putting off, tackle that. This is the only time most people are gonna have this much time on their hands. If you're gonna complain that you've never had time, you don't ever have time, and you don't pursue what you've always wanted to do now, then we got a problem. Don't disappoint your future self. Is what I'm saying. What is one thing you regret purchasing? A few pieces of clothing from fast fashion stores, or that's really it, honestly. I don't really have much buyer's remorse because I usually research everything before I buy it, and then there you go. Okay, now I gotta uh, boil some water. What would you be doing if you didn't do YouTube? Man, if I didn't do YouTube, honestly, I'd probably be still working my job in New York City, trying to figure it out. And then if I wasn't doing that, I'd probably be a mechanical engineer right now here in Albuquerque, and that's all I'd be doing. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Biggest fear is not being able to pay for rent or afford food, and I've been through that situation many times. Pretty scarred by that. When are you gonna post a new vid? We want more often. I fully accepted that two a week is not as feasible as I thought because I focus more on quality instead of like a bunch, a bunch of content that is repetitive. Nothing wrong with that, I just always wanna you know, switch it up, have new content for you guys. So it's gonna be once a week, minimum. Twice a week is gonna happen, just not every week, okay? So I would love to post more. It's just, I'm a one-man team. Tips from your experience for entrepreneurs. Except that this is gonna take three to five years, minimum. No money coming in for, the, for three years straight. My first three years pursuing this or whatever, I moved to New York in 2016. I didn't go full-time on YouTube to 2019. And I accepted that it was gonna take that long. If you can't accept that, it's not for you. It's not for you. Maybe. What am I talking about? I'm just some kid. What's your pet peeve in society? This is just off the top of my head. People that talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. Or currently for sure, people that don't pursue what they said they previously had no time to do. And my, my boy Keezy TV said that on a tweet and I post on my story. That really bothers me. I don't know why, it just does. What are your favorite color blocking fits slash combinations? Uh, I should make a video on this, but one go-to combination that always works, black, white, olive. Any combination of those you put together will work for the most part. Not, not white pants, olive shoes, and a black top, that might not work as well, but black top, olive pants, white shoes, olive top, black pants, white shoes, white shirt, olive pants, black shoes. Looks great. What life skills are rarely taught, but very useful? Patience. Most of the life skills that are taught to you aren't really gonna help as much. People learn from experience more. Biggest life skill to go through a bunch of shit and you'll figure it out. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. What are your plans for the channel? Just continue making content about fashion, you know, sneakers, you know, maybe some self-help and I don't know about fitness anymore. I'm not into that as much. What are the jobs you do? Just YouTube. What topic could you spend hours chatting about? This is a good question. Definitely Star Wars. 100%. Fashion. Cooking. I can talk about cooking a lot. Cooking is like my jam. Um, I used to be able to talk a lot about cars, but because I moved to New York, I kind of like, you know, hopped off cars because you don't need a car in New York City. So I'm like four years behind in like knowledge and skateboarding. Just like all my hobbies and photog photography especially as well. Photography, editing, and YouTube. I can talk about like content creating as well a lot. So we have the ox tail right here. The bones boiling right now. Um, we're gonna clean the bones in a, in a set. So we're just gonna let it boil a little bit. Next, got any pets? I don't have any pets currently, but um, favorite animal? I like dogs. Techwear outfit pointers, I'm getting started. Honestly, just follow the Techwear, the official Techwear subreddit, Techwear Clothing. You'll get a lot of insight there. Like just read the comments of what people say on each post. Cause I'll make a video on it eventually, I promise. It's just, I wanna get really, I wanna get used to it and uh, actually make some, post some good outfits. Okay, I don't wanna be one of those dudes, you know, who just buy a utility vest and just call that tech wear. It's not, that's not tech wear, okay? Don't be that guy. Why are you standing on newspaper? Because 
This is an Asian household. No shoes in the house, dog. No, no shoes. What's your favorite snack? I love hot Cheetos and I like brownies as well. How do you find slash explore, explore brands? For example, Talentless or Overgear. Follow your favorite fashion dudes that post and tag uh, those brands. You can ask people or you can follow channels like The Casual. This is Antoine. They usually make videos on like brands you don't know. Those are good channels. Those are good channels. As a young guy, is it better to rock street style or menswear? Both. Why not both? It's like if I were a Jedi, I would want to know a little bit about the dark side, right? Like you want to know a little bit about both. Bro, how's your mental health? Honestly, it's pretty good because my life hasn't changed too much. Although I do miss going to restaurants and you know, hang out with friends. First world problem stuff. But other than that, my life hasn't really changed and I'm, I'm pretty happy. What trend slash style? Do you hate or can't stand at all? I have nothing to say to that because I am a, I'm open to any style But currently if people still rock those biker joggers, I don't really like that was only a trend for like not even a year Like way back when people still wear it um, But current trends, I don't hate anything right now. Where do you buy your tech wear clothing? I'll make a video on it eventually you can start with cheaper more affordable brands like 511 tactical it's still slightly pricey, but you get the, you know, all the functions of tech wear, weatherproofing, windproofing, durability, all that good stuff. It's a good start. Then you can go to more of the higher end brands like Enfin Levy, Arcteryx, North Face, all that good stuff. North Face and Patagonia, Columbia, all that's a good start as well. It's somewhat cheap and affordable. How old are you? I'm currently 24, turning 25 in two months. Someone's asking about skincare stuff. I'm not an expert in that. I would just watch other YouTube channels that are better at that. My skin's not really not that good, honestly. I'm working on it and maybe some upcoming videos, but consult with other YouTubers. They have better videos and better skin. Do you have plans on moving anytime soon? I plan on moving back to New York whenever this disease disappears, so Maybe the end of the year, maybe next year. Best summer shoe that you like wearing, white Vans. What would your dream job be? I'm living it, man. This is seriously a dream. And I still can't, you know, sometimes I'm like, yo, pinch me, is this real? This is the dream. Couldn't ask for anything better. What size denim do you wear? My true size is a 29 weight with a 30 length, but that sizing never happens. So I usually get 30-30 and I just wear a belt, if anything. What are the best ways to protect your favorite shoes? I'm wearing shoes, they're gonna get messed up, okay? The best way to protect it, I guess, well, one thing for me, I have more shoes because they just become in your rotation. If you just have one sneaker and you wear it 365 days a year, that's 365 wears. But if you have 10 sneakers and you rotate it, you maybe get like 20, 30 wears a year, they last longer, and then just clean it. Best life advice you can give. Try and have some fun, but also go for what you want because you have one life. That's it. I can go more deep, but that's like too much. Dream car, the 90s NSX. Pop-up headlights, that would be a dream. Favorite Breaking Bad episodes, definitely Crawl Space, Ozymandias, and Full Measure, because here's, here's a cool thing as well. I used to work at that laser tag building that was in Breaking Bad. I worked there for five years. It's Hinkle Family Fun Center. I was a supervisor there and a game technician. I was actually there when they filmed for season five as well in front of our building. It was super cool. Got to meet uh, Bob Odenkirk, Jonathan Banks, and Walt himself, which is really cool. What do you think about people getting bait masks because of Corona? Hey, that's cool, man. Protect your face. Um, I wouldn't wear bait masks, though. I would just wear a regular surgical mask. Do you F with any Yeezys? Just the Yeezy power phases and maybe the Yeezy season boots and the turtle doves. Favorite piece of clothing? Cargo pants. You already have a vision for a brand you want to start? Not really. Maybe at a later date, I'll tackle that. Okay, so now I'm going to clean the bones and then we're going to reboil the water with the bones in it for the broth. Okay, got that joint reboiling. How is your Cantonese? Advice for upcoming YouTubers. I said earlier, how do you keep up with the latest fashion trends? Honestly, people get to it before me. I should do a better job at that, but yeah, people get to it before me and I do read up about it as well, so. Are you actually from a small Chinatown? No, I'm from a small town of Albuquerque. Population's less than 600,000, that's where I'm from. Best pants besides cargos, athletic joggers. So like training pants. You know, stuff from like Aesthetic Revolution, that type of stuff. Very, very beautiful pair of pants. And denim, black denim. Favorite fashion piece I own? I'd say my Akron Impresto's and my Nike ACG cargos. How do I style shorts? I honestly could do a better job at that because I don't even know how to style shorts. Top three clothing brands. Acronym, Nike, of course, Enfin Levy. Those are the top three in my head, but I have, there's plenty more. Have you thrifted before? I have, I'm not very good at it, and I don't have any tips for you, sorry. There's plenty of other better videos, but I, sh I could work on that too. If you had to wear one pair of kicks for the rest of your life, what would it be? Vans. Vans because they're so versatile. I also like skateboarding, and I 
and skate in them. They also go with tech wear outfits. They also go with street wear outfits, men's wear casual outfits. They can go with anything. Adidas or Nike? Nike. What are some cheap tech wear alternatives? Nothing that's gonna make me go broke. For the most part, you are gonna go broke. Just start with North Face. Start with the North Face. You can get a lot of nice windbreakers there for nothing crazy less than $100. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Currently, because nobody does fashion like at all out here in New Mexico, nobody really cares about it. So social media, when I was living in New York, I would just walk down Soho and so much inspiration from just walking down the street, just in, in New York in general as well. That's why I miss it. How do you edit your photos? I have a video on that. So what kind of car do you drive? I drive a Civic stick shift, no automatics here. Where to get cargos and slim skinny jeans for a six foot four guy? Well, I do work with brands like Black Taylor, but there are plenty of other brands out there. And jeans, I don't know what it's like to be 6'4", so I don't know what your sizing would be. So just go to Levi's or, you know, Express. Top sneakers for 2020, I don't have any. Maybe I'll make a video on that later. But I know definitely the Dior Jordan 1s would be on there. Which brands would you choose to wear for the rest of your life? Acronym, Nike ACG. Any tips to lose weight? Burn more calories than you consume. Can you show us your daily home workout set for the beginners out here? I probably should do that. I might make a video on it. Favorite fashion websites to shop from? I have a video on that, but it's just like regular stores as well that have an online e-commerce store. So All Saints, Bloomingdale's, you know, all that good stuff. And the brands I work with as well, because I actually like the brands that I work with. I wouldn't work with a brand that I didn't like, so those as well. Are you a fan of hype brands like Bape, Supreme, Off-White, Chinatown Market? To be honest, not really. Like I see the hype in it, but I don't, it's not, it's just not my thing. How do you get your instant engagements up? I don't know. <laughs> I started this YouTube channel and people go follow me from the YouTube channel. And that's the only reason my likes and engagement has gone up or whatever people care about. And I'm gonna skip a lot of questions as well, just because I don't know if we'll have time for it. What do you like the most about tech wear? I like that not many people wear it at all because a lot of people, it's, it's kind of hard to understand for a lot of people. That's one. It's just like my thing because I've, I've always liked Star Wars, the dystopian vibes. I also appreciate just function in general. You know, whether it's breathability, like, you, you know, getting some sweat wicking material or like you're hiking and it's like pouring and that's when you would need like a shell jacket. So that type of stuff. I like how it mixes function and aesthetics and in, into a beautiful aesthetic on its own. So yeah. Characteristics of you that you like slash dislike the most. Okay, what I like the most, uh, I've always had naturally broad shoulders. That's always been nice to have. Okay, you guys probably can't tell. I, I'm skinny anyways, but just growing up, I've always had like broader shoulders. They're, they're not very big. So I've always liked that. And what I dislike the most, probably my skin, just what I'm working on. My favorite style tech wear, what, would you do a meet and greet in Albuquerque? Maybe one day, maybe one day when the, the city's safe. Do you play ball? No, because I, I would get crossed easily and I suck at it. What made you comfortable moving into more tech wear style fashion? It's just like any aesthetic. You try, you try like one of those pieces, like it's like a gateway piece. Like the Jordan ones is like a good gateway piece to getting into street wear. With tech wear, it's more like the, for me, it was cargo pants and like sling bags. That was what got me really into it. Then I just dove more into it, like getting into the Reddit, official subreddit and reading more about it. And I just, I just got really into it. Which country would you vi do you want to visit after this pandemic is over? Definitely Europe. How do you make your quality so good in your videos? Uh, I paid for a super expensive camera a long, long time ago. Study a little bit more about editing and how you can make it, you know, more engaging, I guess. How tall were you when you were 15? I was the same height, 5'7". Who do you look up to from a fashion perspective? Uh, definitely a lot of YouTubers, um, and then a lot of designers as well. Obviously, Earlson Hugh, Yoji Yamamoto, Rick Owens, and even Kanye West. You watch anime? If so, what kind? Honestly, I really don't. How did you meet Christian? I met Christian at Jimmy Zhang's birthday party. We went and got hot pot, and uh, that's where I met him. What motivates you to improve your style? Honestly, you guys. Okay, we're gonna get the lemongrass, the lemongrass, and we're gonna beat it. And this is like my hammer because I don't have anything else, so I'm using this. <laughs> Favorite workout shoe? Definitely the Nike Pegasus 35 Turbos or barefoot if I'm doing deadlifts. How long have you been skating? I've been skating since middle school, sixth grade, but I stopped freshman year of high school because all my friends just stopped skating and it wasn't as fun. But now I'm picking it back up. Did you fall in love when you the first time you wore cargos, bro? You don't even wanna know how I reacted. Are you gonna post more on TikTok? No. What's your thought on overshirts? I don't know what that means. If you mean oversized shirts, 
Love them. What made me start YouTube? I just like fashion and I just wanted to talk about it and I've always wanted to do YouTube as a thing. What are your thoughts on boots? I love boots. Uh, I just like more military combat boots. Chelsea boots are fine as long as you don't wear in the Jerry boy type of way. What's your camera setup? I have an office studio tour. You can watch that. Which of the five senses would you say is your strongest? Definitely not hearing or eyesight. So I'd say smell. What is the most valuable lesson on YouTube has that YouTube has taught you? Don't Quit. What's your favorite Japanese street brand? Ooh, I have a few. So I like Cav Empt. Obviously, Yoji Yamamoto's brand, Y3. Uniqlo? I'd say those are the top three right now in my head. Why YouTube with all the other career choices? Because I've always wanted to do YouTube. Casey Neistat really motivated me and I saw that it was possible. I worked for Brandon Carter and I saw that was possible. I edited for Richie Lee, saw that was possible. I just had a lot of friends do YouTube or people I looked up to. And I was like, I feel like I can do this. Obviously it took me three, four years to do it, but yeah. Drop the lemongrass in. Tips on how to find your own style. I have a video on that. Favorite thing about fashion, I really like how it's like expressing yourself. Souping up your car, adding some, you know, a body kit or a lip or, you know, redoing the interior with some new paneling or whatever it is. You know, I've always liked that stuff. It makes it more you instead of a starter pack. If I had a house and like the interior decor was designed by someone else, it wouldn't feel like mine. So that's how I like to think of it. What was the first sneaker you ever bought? I can't remember. I'd say it was definitely a pair of Vans old schools back in the day, but current like streetwear type sneakers, it was definitely the Ultra Boost 1.0. What's your dating life like? I have a girlfriend from Chicago. Have you ever been to Disney World or Orlando? Yes, I have. Do you like Star Wars? Of course I do. How long did it take you to get 50,000 subscribers? See, here's the thing, people think it can go quick. And I know a lot of people that it did happen quick. I started this channel in 2017 on my birthday. So it'd be three years coming 2020. So it took two years and 10 months. Jesus, don't expect this to go quick. Do you change your hairstyle occasionally? No, I don't really because I cut my own hair and I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy to learn anything new. How long did it take you to get to the physique you're at? Honestly, my physique's nothing great at all, but I got, like if you, I have an old workout clip from 2015. I'll still, I still look kind of the same. So it took like, year or two consistent training but i was like really into fitness are you gonna bring back the personal development videos maybe i don't know if that might be the second channel either you guys let me know what style do you like on girls mm, tech wear on girls looks really good <laughs> how to figure out your life at 21 you're not gonna figure it out at 21 relationship advice i don't you guys you gotta be more specific but treat your partner well yeah i, I haven't made any progress cooking so I'll finish it after the video. Fashion tips for short dudes. I'm gonna remake that later. Just focus on your proportions, sizing, and all that good stuff. What do you think about wearing specs with perfect vision? Why not? What's your go-to tech wear sneaker to wear with black cargos? Any runner. So whether that be the Flynet trainers or racers or a pair of New Balance 997S or the Nike Pegasus 35 Turbos. Any runner goes solid with it, but you can't ever go wrong with a pair of Air Force Ones. Do you ever get recognized in public? Not really. Is Johnny Ty your real name? No, it's Jonathan Ty, but people always call me Johnny because Jonathan is too many syllables and I have no middle name. Homegirl Bella asks, how you feel now that the restaurant's closed? So Bella and I, when we, when, cause we used to work together. We used to call McDonald's the restaurant, but currently because of the disease, it's closed. And I'm very sad. Favorite outfit and where you got the pieces. All right, probably my, my techie fit. I just play, I play with color blocking. So it's, it's, I shot it at a ditch and I was wearing MKBHD merch windbreaker. He actually brought it back by the way. And I was wearing Uniqlo heat tech, cargo pants, Nike element 55. So it was very solid color blocking, you know, just black, gray, that gradient scale. And it felt very, uh, very techie. I don't know, I really liked it. But that concludes it. Thank you guys for getting me to 50K. I really appreciate it. This is seriously a dream job to me. And I'm very fortunate to have my life not affected by this disease going on. Seriously, thank you guys for following the journey from 2017 till now. I've changed a lot and I've, like my content's changed a lot. Things have been good. I, I, I really appreciate you guys. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't ask every question because there was too many, but I try to answer as many as I can. This is gonna be a super long video. I need to finish cooking this. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to the channel, turn that like button blue for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys actually made it this far, which I'll be really surprised, that's a pineapple right there. How about you guys comment pineapple so I know that you guys are cool, because this is a super long video. And if you guys do make it this far, you guys are the MVPs. Until then guys, I need to finish cooking this because I'm hungry, hungry. Hope you guys like this new uh, format, you know, in my kitchen, all that. I'm out, peace. Okay, well, I'm not really out, so I gotta cook this, so I'm gonna stop the video.